Moving on, markets hovering uh, in record close territory in the majority of institutional investors think the positive momentum will continue this month, reversing bearish sentiment in October. That's according to the Goldman Sachs monthly marquee poll. Joining us for more on that uh, is Goldman's global head of hedge fund client coverage, Tony Pascarello. Tony, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Wilf, good to be back. Thank you. So the uh, exclusive uh, results of your poll just out and investors broadly improving their, their kind of risk sentiment at the moment. That's great. And we think this is pretty interesting. So for the better part of the past six months, our institutional clients identified as very clearly on the cautious end of things. That changed in the most recent sample. So this survey was conducted Monday and Tuesday, 1,300 institutional respondents, and the ratio of bulls to bears came out at two to one. In the prior survey, we had recorded near record levels of investor negativity. So a big month-on-month -month swing, perhaps not a surprise with the market all-time highs that investor sentiment was lifted. I was going to say, though, why do you think the shift? I mean, is it the Fed cutting rates? Is it something else at prices, play here? Prices went up. So I would say price matters. And so when you're at all-time highs, the total rate of return on S&P 500 this year approaching 25%. That certainly colors investor sentiment. But I think you hit two important points, which is during the month of October, which is a plus 2% month for S&P, a plus 4% month for NASDAQ. Two things, the direction of travel on Brexit and the direction of travel on U.S.-China trade turned more positive. Has positioning altered a lot? So this is, this is very important. So we're always looking with survey data for a few things. Change in narrative, we're looking for extremes, and we're also looking for there's a wedge where there's a wedge between sentiment and positioning. So again, sentiment very clearly swung to the bullish side. When asked about do you expect to change your risk in the month of November, only 12% of our clients said they expect to add risk. So the, the, the moral of that story is perhaps clients are more bullish in sentiment than they're genuinely long of position. Stepping away from the survey data, Tony, just to ask about trading in the last couple of weeks, as, as uh, the last month or so, I mean, has that uh, volume been very low? Uh, volumes, have, I would characterize as, as steady. So realized volatility has come down quite a lot. So if you were to measure the realized moves, actual moves in stocks, bonds, currencies, and commodities, we're at call it the lows of the past 10 years. So the market hasn't forced you to transfer nor add a lot of risk. But again, the context has been one of risk on. And so client risk appetite's been picking up slowly but surely. So what would you expect to see through the end of the year? Market-wise, yeah. I think personally the big dynamics in the game remain pretty favorable. Uh, I say that because, number one, U.S. growth continues to prove more durable than expected. 2% for <clears throat> the next several years would be our forecast. Uh, the Fed has pivoted in a very meaningful way. Uh, we are now, as we sit here today, they've cut rates, obviously, 75 basis points. The real Fed funds rate is neutral. And despite an all-time high in stocks and a 50-year low in unemployment, they retain an asymmetric easing towards the, towards the, the dollar side. Uh, and then lastly, again, the direction of travel on Brexit and China, the trade, the trade tensions, much, much more positive. So I think there's still gas in the tank, and the path of least resistance for the next couple of months is higher.